Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video series, we are going to learn JUnit framework that is used for unit testing framework while software testing. So, we will be seeing all these things in our learning sessions. So, very first thing is introduction of JUnit. Then we will see the features and characteristics of JUnit that what scenario how it is going to be used. The next thing is environment setup. So, in this series, we will be seeing that how actually we will be installing the GA unit and running the program of GA unit in your computer system. The next is plug with ANT framework. So, we will be plugging the GA unit framework with the ANT and we will be running the program of GA unit using ANT framework. The next is plug in with Eclipse. We will be also seeing the program of GA unit in the Eclipse framework and how it is going to be executed in Eclipse. The next is annotations of J unit, then test framework. We are having different criteria and different section in the test or framework of J unit. So that we will be seeing over here. Then test J unit classes, different different classes like assert class, test case class, test suit class, and the methods of all these classes will be explained in this J unit classes topic. Then the next is execution procedure that how actually the program is being written in J unit and how it is going to be executed as test suite execution that we will be seeing in this topic. Then the next topics are test, ignore test, time test, exception test, if you want to ignore any test case, if you want to bound into the time and if you want to see whether the expected exception has been returned or not. So for this all these three things will be used. Then the parameterized test in which we will be passing parameters to our test case. Then extensions of J unit that how it can be used with different other frameworks. Then we will be doing unit testing in Selenium. So we will be using the code of Selenium web driver and we will be executing in J unit test case and we will be converting one Selenium web driver program to J unit. So these all are the topics that we will discuss in the next video sessions and we will be combining this into video series. Thank you.